Welcome back to the West Rose Road YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. It's not talking either Game of Thrones or A Song of Ice and Fire, but it is looking at one of the many, many, many licensed products that have come out related to Game of Thrones. Uh, this one really caught our eyes because it's, um, it's something that I'm quite interested in and uh, have uh, sort of a, a particular fondness for, and um, they're very fancy as well. It's these um, Game of Thrones pens from um, a, I think it's an Italian brand called Montegrappa, and they've done uh, pens for sort of the four main remaining houses now. You've got your Targaryen, your Lannister, your Baratheon. Well, okay, they're not really remaining, but anyway. And then this one, the Stark. Um, each of the pens are produced as um, rollerball, ballpoint, and fountain pen, and the fountain pens are also produced in a variety of widths. So we're going to be looking at the uh, medium uh, Stark pen today. And um, I really like fountain pens. Uh, we bought ourselves a couple of fancy ones for signing um, a year or so back and thought it would be really cool to have one of these uh, Game of Thrones pens as well. So uh, we're actually ordering a Targaryen as well that will be making its way eventually over here. We got that one uh, from a US seller instead. The, uh, obviously this isn't actually from uh, a Spanish seller. Uh, iguana cell in Madrid and they shipped it amazingly quickly. I ordered it I think on Friday and it arrived here yesterday so uh, super fast delivery for those of you in Europe who might be interested in, in these pens. So uh, I'm gonna start uh, taking a look at what's inside of this box. So this pen came uh, very nicely packaged as well. It wasn't just shipped quickly. Um, uh, they're an Amazon.com seller, by the way. I haven't checked if they have an Amazon Co. UK, but they did ship straight from Spain, even though it was Amazon.com and packed it very well. And then you got this fancy little box here, branded with their Game of Thrones and the Montegrappa. And we'll see what's inside of it. We've got something that looks even fancier here with more of a how sigil does it look? I'll slip it out like this, might be easiest. Yep. There we go. And then we have an even prettier box inside with lots of house sigils and Game of Thrones logo. And then you open it up and you have this fancy red lining and your pen and a couple of ink cartridges I see already. So I had prepared myself with some brought some ink along, but it looks like we have cartridges for use as well. So I'm gonna slip this out and see. Okay, and here we have a user manual as well inside, presumably in lots of different languages. And there's one I read as well, which is excellent. So your Montegrappa pen is an original creation of Montegrappa, made and tested to meet the highest standards of manufacture. They do a lot of really fancy pens. I had a look around their storefront and, uh, well, if you want to spend thousands of dollars on pens, um, that's, uh, that's where you can do it. Um, in fact, they have a a limited edition as well of these uh, called the, the Iron Throne pen and it's available in um, sterling silver and uh, gold as well, gold plated. And I think the gold one was somewhere along the lines of $49,000 or something, I don't quite recall exactly. So um, that might be a little rich for most budgets. Let's see here where we can get this pen out. So here we have the Stark pen and it's a um, beautiful white and silver gray um, and Stark direwolf head on the cap, um, sort of a bit of a Norse or Celtic patterning um, decorating it. Got a little Montegrappa there as well and the pen it's on see oh yeah and we have the stark direwolf at the top of the cap too so and when you twist that off you have the pen itself um i said i like pens um 
I've done a bit of calligraphy, uh, but you know, I'm not a super expert on fountain pens or anything like that. This is just the second fancier one that I've owned. I have a, a lot of the usual old nibs that you stick into basic plastic ones. Um, these feel really nice, really well made, um, feel nice to hold, nice size and weight. And I presume that if you do this, this is where you have your ink. And I'm going to have to read up a little bit on precisely how to fill it. And then I'm going to also show you how it writes and um, how, how the sort of ink flows out of it and how it feels when you do that. But I think it's a really, really handsome pen. And uh, looks like it's a standard sort of black ink that I've got. So I might try that or I might try my Tanzanite. Actually, this is technically Leo's signing color because uh, the Stark pen is going to be his and the Targaryen is going to be mine. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can get this pen filled up. I usually make a complete mess of this. I'm gonna try and not to make such a mess today. Um, so get this one out, and then this is a the converter version apparently, not the pure piston version. So you dip it in to the ink. You turn it clockwise to fill up. Let's see. I am not. Far enough down, am I? Oh, I see. It'd be help if I actually have the piston all the way down first. There we got the ink. And then half a turn just to push out any air. Side, give it a little test, flows beautifully, flows away from me. Put this ink aside and the test paper, and we'll see how it writes on a bit of polygraphic paper. I'm a bit more used, obviously, to a calligraphic pen than uh, just a straight-up fountain pen, so I keep trying to um, make it sort of more calligraphic rather than um, just writing along as you would with a... My, my usual handwriting, unfortunately, is not terribly pretty. Uh, when I do calligraphy, it is a little bit prettier. But um, then you want an angled nib, which is what I have on my, my signing pen, which isn't always easy. But uh, I like the feel of this one. Um, I, I think it puts out the ink beautifully. And I said, it feels nice and weighty in the hand. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, it looks great. Uh, it's... Um, Definitely something that I think uh, we will be bringing with us as an uh, alternative to uh, our existing pens when it comes to signing, because uh, it's fun to do it with really fancy stuff. And, and I do think this one actually sets the ink maybe a little bit better than again. Now we've, we've been signing on the sort of glossier papers of uh, The World of Ice and Fire compared to this, which is made for uh, calligraphy, really. So it does... Um, hold the ink quite nicely. Um, yeah, I um, think that, um, as I said, you can get it from um, Amazon.com, I know that much. You can also get it from the uh, HBO UK store. I think the regular HBO store might also have it. I We are going to include links and uh, double check on all of that to give you some options if you're interested in having one of these. Um, the Targaryen looks fantastic as well, and the, the Lannister has a really rich red and gold, and the Baratheon's beautiful too, so it's 
a hard pick and you know if you don't want the hassle of filling a fountain pen you can go for uh, the uh, the roller ball or the ballpoint they are a little bit cheaper as well so if that's a, a concern you might want to opt for one of those the, um, the iguana cell uh, seller on Amazon.com did have uh, the best price for this one that I've seen anywhere. There was also a um, seller, the one that we're getting the Targaryen from, had a fantastic price for the Targaryen fountain pen, but only shipped to the US. So uh, we're uh, shipping that one roundabout ways via Elio's parents to, to get it here to Sweden. Um, but if you're in the US, you should definitely look around on the prices on Amazon because there are some some deals to be made. The the retail on this one is I think three hundred and fifty dollars, uh, but there are some uh, more uh, somewhat more reasonable prices out there at least. Um, but they're really well made. Uh, Montegrappa has uh, been in the business for a long while. They make all sorts of fancy limited editions, uh, special pens, pens with, uh, like I said, you know, gold and various Swarovski crystals and everything. So uh, you can get as fancy as you like with these. Uh, really like that uh, direwolf head here. And um, so if you want something really fancy to write with, you might definitely want to look at these and, you know, just look at the, the presentation that you get that's... Um, that's definitely one of the big pluses with Game of Thrones. You've gotten some really nice and fancy uh, things made. And um, this is sort of geeky without being, definitely without being cheap. So I can definitely recommend these.